Welcome back. Uh, I've continued to work on this frame, so I've just come up with the design for the uh, bearing mounts on the rear axle, and you can see I've just profiled a bit of RHS box section like that, and it's actually fit pretty well, so I'm happy with that. Um, I've just tacked everything up. Uh, as I've done this, I've found a couple of challenges. So the rear wheels are very wide, as is uh, the axle. And what I think is going to happen is steering is going to be a bit of a problem. So uh, what I'm looking at now is I think I need to put some sort of differential in the back. And I also want it to have a reverse gear. So I don't know the answer yet, but I'm actually thinking about uh, seeing what small gearboxes are around that I could perhaps modify to drive the rear axle and then go from the motorbike engine directly to that gearbox as a secondary gearbox. Uh, I did decide to put a tow bar in as well, as you can see here. It is way overkill, but most things I build are, so uh, that will definitely last forever. Pull the Titanic with that thing, but I'm um, sure it'll be handy as well. Uh, it's come up pretty good. Uh, you can see here the axle has lined up well, rotates good, clearance for the disc, and the cutter actually has gone under there pretty well. I need to modify all the brackets for the cutter, so. Uh, you can see I'm going to have the cutter so it's actually 90 degrees to the frame which is not how it is stock in the stock form it's on a bit of an angle for some reason so I'm going to go straight like this uh, my frames wider so I need to modify the mounting brackets and that shouldn't be too much of a drama but I'll have to make some mods to that cutter to actually get it to fit and then the pulley arrangement I'll have to work out later so this is the lifting mechanism it's pretty basic but uh, has a number of pivot points and I'm just gonna have to cut that crossbar across there and put a new one in so it matches the wider width of my frame so yeah I think the main thing at the moment is finding uh, some sort of differential and gearbox for the back and if I can get that to work it means I won't need a jack shaft with a number of uh, reduction gears to get the right ratio that I need so I've put the engine in, uh, you'll see a couple of photos in a minute. It actually looks really good, uh, but as I said, I think now I've got to sort this rear end out before I can go much further because I might have to modify the frame again. So this is just cutting up the lifting mechanism, ready to put another bar across there. That's probably about six inches wider. Uh, so I don't think that's much of a drama, but as I do these sort of things, it's, it, it is a bit tricky to to uh, get everything to fit and in these photos you'll see the progress I'm going to put the exhaust something like that again there's not much room so I've got to uh, figure out a route for them to work so there's the engine uh, it's going to look it's going to look really good when this is done so yep for now back to the drawing board figure out some sort of uh, drive mechanism and then see what happens and I'll have to uh, widen the body as well but uh, so far it's uh, coming along nice, so stay tuned. 